Sometimes I think that I should be looking so weird to people taking all these videos of these doors, but like that door isn't that gorgeous. <laughs> Good morning! Welcome back to the video! We are slowly making our way through France back to the Netherlands, back to Peba. But, oh, the loose here. But today is a little bit of a chore day because we've got lots of laundry. We have to drive, of course. I need to get groceries. I need to get a lot of stuff. I need to get water. I need to put in gas. So today we are driving to a spot that I've actually been to three times already because I went there last year on the way to Portugal and then on the way back and then this year on the way to Portugal again and I know that they have laundromat and there's a pizza place there I've never actually gotten the pizza there there's a good parking spot and it's also gonna rain and that's we can go for a dry walk there so we are now in this still at this beautiful little park so we're gonna go around for a little walk and have hopefully have some fun uh, for the little doggies because they can have their last run because I think it's gonna rain for like three days So this is the last time they can have a little run around and then uh, Well, maybe not maybe the weather is gonna be good. It's not that bad But we are going to enjoy the little park So we're going for a little walk in this <laughs> cute forest. Today we're gonna go for a two hour drive. We're not gonna take any toll roads. I still haven't figured out <laughs> what the toll roads will cost. Uh, I have been costing me yesterday because yesterday I was uh, on the toll road for a long time and the toll badge doesn't update 24 to 72 hours later. So I don't know what it'll be like. The little stream here is beautiful. <laughs> it has like these little waterfalls in it. So I just got rid of the gray water. It is nine o'clock, so that means we will arrive around nine, 10, 11, half past 11, something like that. We are gonna take roads that are not toll roads, so it's gonna be all inland and swervy and roundabouts. So let's get on the road. <laughs> Drove 
drove for two and a half hours. We found an spirit camping spot. We filled up on gas. It was about a hundred euros, I think. It's one eighty-five point nine euros per liter, so one euro eighty-six per liter. And now we are gonna go into the store because it's gonna close soon. Don't tell me it just closed, because if it did. I'm screwed. No, I think it's open for another half an hour. <laughs> See, oh yeah, I can use. Okay, I can use my bank card for that laundry, but I'll do that later. And first, I want to get breakfast and stuff, and then um, I'll do the laundry when I'm done with breakfast because I just want to have a little relaxy time. Let's get a little card. Let's go into the Osha. We're getting closer to the Netherlands. When we get back to the Netherlands, this is my favorite crispy, but this is a mix, so I don't like this. But when we get to Netherlands, I want to get that one. I love that in France you can get pink toilet paper. Isn't that cute? These are also pink. 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 Cute toilet paper. Groceries are all the the store just closed, so now we're going to make a nice lunch. Put the cart back, make a nice lunch. The chore day is going good, and I got these for the kids at home because for the kids that I don't have kids for the kids that I work with because last year I got them um, desserts that I always used to love in Spain. They didn't like it, so now I hope that this is going to be good. I got the tea. When I was here in the beginning of the year, well, end of last year, November, I got this tea, which is such a nice tea. It's really expensive. It's like four euro for how many bags is that? 20 bags. That's not that bad. It's like 20 cents a cup. But I also got this one. This one's even more expensive. This one's like five euro for 20 bags. But this one, it has vanilla, and it has cinnamon, and it has chamomile, oh, chamomile. <laughs> I see people say chamomile. Ah, oh, this is also such a nice tea. So I got like two. That's why my groceries were so expensive. I got two of each because I'm going back to the Netherlands. So yeah, nice. I can enjoy this for all summer, yeah, all spring. And I got tortilla, of course. And of course, guess what I got? Guess what I got? Chicory. Massive chicory, by the way. And I got some bread. Oh, you know what I got? I think. Oh, crap. Oh, they're falling out. <laughs> they're falling out of the paper. I put them in. What we're gonna have. I think we're gonna eat this today. Because I think the fresher you eat this, the better. Oh, that's so nice. Asparagus. I always think they look kind of weird. It just makes your pea smell super bad, but that's okay. I have these, and I have eggs, and I have um, potato. I might eat it with tortilla, though. I think I like it with the potato. And I got this. This is when you go shopping when you're hungry. You get things you maybe shouldn't have. Chocolate madeleines. Little cakeies with chocolate on them. And... My toxic trait is that I think I'm gonna get this and then I can have one a day or two a day. Yeah, no, this bag. I'm probably going to ravish them. What else did I get? Brie, of course. I'm in France. When, when in France, you need to get the brie, of course. And I got some bread, some sort of baguette. Oh, yeah, and what I also got. Oh, I got soy sauce. I was out of soy sauce, guys. I like soy sauce on my chicken. I love soy sauce on my chicory. And I got this so we can put this in a uh, film wrap, wrapping, wrap, what, the metal wrapper stuff for kitchen stuff. Anyway, the gray stuff. And then we put it in the pan and then it melts and then you can dip the bread in there. Yeah, that's what we're gonna eat today. <laughs> Is this healthy? I don't know. Is it nice? Yes. And I got one for myself too because I had this in Portugal and I really loved it. I don't know if these are actually the same though but they look really nice no and I got this 
I don't. I thought it was Potirang, but it says Tartar. Tartar. Emballage. Non résistance conservateur les Français. Without conservatives, French milk. I think that's what it says. And this is family pack because I'm one person, so I can eat a whole family pack. This is nice. This is nice stuff. Okay, so um, yeah, we're gonna make some lunch because I'm hungry and I'm driving two and a half hours without having really had any breakfast. Oh, the reason we hadn't had any breakfast is because I was out of oranges. I got no, oh, I don't smell anything. I got Portuguese. L'orange and I got lemon because I was out of oranges and I can't can't start my day without oranges. So yeah, uh, let's make some nice lunch, breakfast, brunch. It's gotta be brunch because it's now like one o'clock. It is half past twelve, so it's brunch. Uh, what are we gonna eat, guys? Are we gonna eat the? <laughs> Look at what I'm looking at. What are we gonna eat? Out of all of this, what are we gonna start with? I thought the groceries were kind of expensive. It was like 60 euros something, but I got for basically 18 euros tea. And then I got, what else is expensive? Oh yeah, I got for 18 euros tea and the oranges here, they're Portuguese oranges. They are seven euros for like nine oranges or something super expensive. It was way better than the Algarve. So, um, yeah, I think I might have to stop making my own orange juice every morning because it's getting a bit expensive. Anyway, uh, yeah, let's go have some stuff in my body because I'm not, I'm not a cope. I'm not, it's not working. I'm not, this is, the brain is not working. Let's have food. Food in here. <laughs> so I got my orange juice. How I love my orange juice in the morning. Brunch time. <laughs> And I got the tartar on the bread. So I'm just gonna enjoy this and watch some Seinfeld. And then when the laundry's done, I'll get a little beepy because I put the alarm. And then I'll go put it in the dryer and then we can get clear of the laundry. Then I just need to get some water and then all the chores are done for today. Yeah, that's gonna be awesome. And then we're gonna take the dogs for a little walk. So I just finished my lunch and now it's time to put the laundry in the dryer. So that's good. I'm gonna take my the orange vest that I have, the vest. I'm gonna dry them in the like at the van. But everything else I'm just gonna put in the dryer, I think. But the new vest, I wanna keep it nice. I hope it's still nice after washing. <laughs> if it's not, I think it will be. Let's put everything in the dryer. Everything's in a dry for 20 minutes except for my vest. I'm going to hang these out and then in 20 minutes should be done. I can clean it all up. Yes, now all we need to do is get some water. I'm, I'm hesitant about I'm going to see where we're going to go next because I need to pay for water here. I think it's just one euro, but usually it's for free. Where we were this morning, there was water, but it wasn't drinking water. Now, I don't really drink the water, but I brush my teeth with it and so I don't wanted to not be drinking water so um yeah let's get some water and then oh I'm just, I always the last thing I have to do I don't want to do it do you guys know that that's the last thing I have to do I just don't want to do it I think it's broken I think this means no mass no I don't know what it means I think this isn't working and I only brought one euro and I should get two, but like, let's check. No, it's not working. So I have one full 20 liter thing that I put in this morning. So I have enough water for like three days, but I don't like running around with, because I imagine myself washing my hair and then I forget that there's no water and then I have soap in my hair and I can't rinse it. I always have bottles of water for the dogs but then I can't rinse my, my head I need to use the bottled water to rinse my head <laughs> okay so uh, no water for now vlogging life with uh, three little dogs <laughs> what I was going to say was 
The alarm just went off, so I'm going to check on laundry. I hope it's done. If I start hanging on the door, I hope that it's dry. And we don't need to do another cycle. Let's go get it. Let's check uh, the laundry. Hello, the laundry. Are you dry? Yes, you are dry. You can come home with me. around the town. It's quite warm but my hat blows off because there's a little bit of wind today. But we just went through there. It's really cute. We're going for a little walk and I've been here. This is my fourth time here. But it's actually the first time I think that's really beautiful weather. We're having a look around a little bit further away. I haven't ever seen all these streets. But I see all these beautiful doors and beautiful shutters and I'm like oh I'm so impressed with all the doors that we've already seen but there are so many more beautiful doors here. the combination between this color and then that color and then the little writing above it and the little number plate oh this is and then this door can also open halfway that's I love this setup beautiful Look at that one guys. Sometimes I think that I should be looking so weird to people taking all these videos of these doors, but like that door Isn't that gorgeous? <laughs> but I'm taking videos of all the details and I'm like, oh, I kind of look like I'm trying to burglar this house I just love all the little details What I made myself. Ooh. I got eggs, tortilla, and asparagus. I love asparagus. It just makes your pee smell, and that's that gives a little. That you you notice that when you live in a camper van, you don't flush it. <laughs> but ooh, how I love asparagus. 
Oh, I'm just gonna have a nice little dinner. Oh, I'm so excited about this. It's not cold today, but I just love a nice little home cooked meal. And it's something different than chicory. <laughs> I love chicory, I love asparagus. But uh, yeah, let's enjoy asparagus today. Okay, Jimmy. Are you almost turning one? Are you almost turning one, babe? Oh, oh big dog. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need French kiss. We are in France, but I do need French kisses. Love you. Love you. Love you. <laughs> I don't need I oh, okay. I don't need French kisses. No. Love you. We're just going for our last little walk of the day and I was looking at a video, a Facebook video, of a man who was tasting Dutch uh, sweets and treats and stuff and it was what I found so hilarious is that a lot of it is licorice and he hated that. And um, he pronounced a lot of the words wrong, which was so funny to me. I kept going back like, what is he saying? Was the word was Gelderse. And he would say something like, what did he say? Gelderse? Gele ge ge I don't know. He said it wrong. And he said, suikervrij. He said, suikervrij. <laughs> I thought that was so funny. And it got me thinking. I got my schedule for when I'm back in the Netherlands. I'm working basically all day, every day. No, not every day. But... Not going to be having a lot of time to travel so of course i'm bringing you guys every travel i can do but thinking there's not going to be a lot of travel i'm already thinking of ideas of videos so i'll probably have to go back to vlogging once a week instead of maybe two but three times a week three times a week won't work so i'm probably going to go back to once a week i'm thinking about video ideas so if there is something some dutch sweets or some dutch treats that you've heard about that you want me to show you and taste. I've probably tasted all of them, but I can eat it and show you. <laughs> Let me know because I'd love to make a video about Dutch things. I am going to make a video when we get back about Dutch things that I've missed. But maybe I can eat something that you guys want to hear about. I had also gotten a good video idea, which is still in my mind, about... Um, Things about my van that aren't really working that I would like to change and things about my van that work really well. So I'm also going to make a video about that. Thank you so much for that suggestion. That's a really good video suggestion. But are there any more videos that you guys would like to see? So do you have any questions that you would like to have answered? Just let me know if you have a video idea of something about my life that you're very interested about. Because then I can make a video about that. That would be awesome. And also we have to do some maintenance on the van, so we're, I, there's content, but maybe there's things that you guys would like to hear about. And then I'm here, if you tell me what you want to hear, I can make a video about that. Oh, the weather's changing, you guys. We're going to have rain the next couple of days. I think it's now Saturday, my birthday is on Monday, tonight. I think we're going to have rain on my birthday, but we'll see. So we're gonna explore some more in the town and then go back to bed and then from tomorrow we're gonna have a shit ton of rain, I believe. There's a bike store here, we just walked past it and it got me thinking, as a Dutch woman, I've not owned a bike for over a year now and that is so strange that I do not own a bike anymore. I think we even have more bikes in the Netherlands than we have people. It's actually more common to have two bikes than to not have any. So not having a bike or not owning a bike is so weird to me. A 
it got me thinking about the video idea. Like, if you who if you go to a country or a town maybe or a, maybe if you're from America to a state, is there any foods that you like? For instance, when I went to Portugal, I wanted pau grande because we used to eat that when I was a kid. And then when I go to Spain, I want churros. When I go to Germany, I want brazil and also the little chocolate hearts with the apricot filling. And then when I go to France, I want baguette, croissant. What else do I want in France? I think that's about it. And when I go to Italy, I want ice cream and pizza. Italy has a lot of foods actually that I want. Pizza, pasta, uh, oil with like tartufo and <laughs> Italy has a lot of foods that I would like to eat when I'm there. If I go to Greece, I want to have like tzatziki, um, kadaifi and <laughs> just stuff. Uh, that's so funny that I have foods for every country that I want to eat. But I was thinking, do you guys have that too? Is it like states or countries that you go to and then you're like, oh, when we get there, I'm going to have me a nice... Could be anything. I was just wondering if I'm the only one that has that. just went for an awesome walk through the town and it's so lovely to see because it's really warm at the moment see people dining outside in their yards in their gardens and uh, seeing all the little houses with the beautiful doors and beautiful shutters and such a character characteristic is that the right word it has a lot of it has a nice vibe this town I really like this town it's windy so we just went for a little walk through the town. I actually, I love France as a holiday destination, but usually in summer when there's more beautiful flowers, when, you know, it's more inviting or some way. I was thinking like, are there going to be any um, brocante uh, marketplaces or something? But I drove past one today, but because I hadn't had any lunch, any, any breakfast or anything, I decided to just keep going because I thought I'm going to get overstimulated if I go into a store while I'm hungry and I just thought let me take care of myself plus I didn't need anything <laughs> but um I was wondering if there was any markets but in summertime there's always these really cool markets and with uh, in France if you go to markets Brogante markets they have all of these beautiful or like secondhand markets flea markets they have all of these beautiful things I got beautiful lamps here one time and yeah this is so much fun but uh, now, hey, look at them. Hey, I'm doing this. But now I'm just, uh, yeah, I'm just, I'm kind of making my way through it fast. It doesn't seem to be a lot of like special fun. I don't really know how to say it. I was trying to get a cute angle to get a video, but now this is on my face. Oh, that's better. Here's my little boo boo. I thought I would try a different angle for once. <laughs> But then I see all the dishes I still need to do. But anyway. But uh, yeah, this town is really cute. And I've been here for the fourth time. And I'm very comfortable driving back. Yesterday we were at a place um, where there were there were people because they were playing patonk. But there, there, I was there alone. I had my door open to very late because it was really warm. And then I closed the door and I just went to sleep. I wasn't scared. I did wait to go to bed to 12 because they kept... Uh, they were all still there, so they were talking. Um, there was like a batonk playing field behind the camper site. And a lot of them were still leaving in their car, so I would hear car doors slam closed. So if I would go to bed, they would wake me up. So I thought, oh, I'll just scroll through TikTok some more until it's late. And then in the end, they all left. I think 12, 15 is the last door I heard. 
So, but I wasn't scared or anything, and I'm very happy about that because when I first started doing van life, I would get so scared if I was somewhere by myself. And um, I can still have those moments, but now, no, I feel super safe. I'm, I'm here, I'm not alone, by the way, but I've been here, this is my fourth time now, so I have good experience with this. We'll be trying to turn around, but he's hurting me. So I'm, I'm very happy that I'm so comfortable sleeping alone in places. So, I just did dishes. <laughs> And uh, I actually cleaned this thing because yesterday with all the pollen that were in the air, it got totally covered in white and because I have hay fever, I wanted to clean it out. So I did. Um, and now it is time for us to get ready for bed so that tomorrow we can go on a new adventure. I'm not sure what we're going to do. I was thinking of some ideas that I have. I was looking around to see if there's any like uh, gemstone stores because I would love to get something like this. To put over here because this little lady can move a little bit over to here if I want but I could make one sit here that would be really beautiful um, for my birthday or maybe like a, a brocant store something like that I was looking up stuff where we can go it's also gonna be raining so maybe we're just gonna hang out in the van somewhere I don't know I was just looking around I was just looking at some ideas what we can do tomorrow but you'll find out in the next video I'll take you along tomorrow thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed today's video I will see you in the next one and in the meantime don't forget to say yes to new adventures